Hello everyone and welcome to my lucky impling opening. I will open all of these lucky imps in a little bit. But before we do, I have made a tier list of important items on the chunk account. Or rather items that would be helpful. So let me pop it on the screen. There we go. This is the tier list. Um, S tier is basically all third age. We have the tools, the weapons... Pretty much all of these sets would be best as slot stats. Mage, melee, ranged, druidic, all really good stats. And definitely S tier because it's so extremely rare. I highly doubt I'm gonna get this. I'm recording this before I'm going to open the luckies because I don't know yet what I'm gonna get. So I think it's uh, more fun. We have the combat bracelet, which is an A tier item. I can turn this into combat bracelet, which would be really good... Um, Strength bonus, I think that gives me one max hit and some accuracy bonus, so that would be amazing. Manacles, kind of the same thing for strength bonus, that's one max hit. And then Fremenic Killed, I believe gives one strength bonus, but still really good. I mean, every strength bonus I can get is a, a win. Gilded Boots, also strength bonus, and then we have a bunch of range upgrades, which are uh, pretty good. I, my range gear isn't the best yet, so this would all be really helpful. Hey you there, I see you using the internet. Have you ever downloaded anything before? The answer is of course yes. I just talked to your ISP and they told me exactly what it was you downloaded and where you got it from. In fact, they messed with your speed when they saw what sketchy shit you were up to. I'm invading your privacy. It's a little weird, isn't it? Yeah, your ISP is basically peeking over your shoulders while you download your guilty pleasures. And that's why today's sponsor NordVPN is here to help. NordVPN has over 6,000 servers to choose from that will hide all the embarrassing stuff you are doing on the internet. If something is not available in your country, clear your cache, turn on NordVPN and voila. You can be wherever you want to be in the world on the internet and unlock content. Head to nordvpn.com forward slash fairvpn to get a 2 year plan plus 4 months free by clicking the link in the description. It is risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. And thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And then we have B tier, Ring of Wealth. I can turn a Dragon Soul Ring into Ring of Wealth and automatically pick up coins and get better uh, red drop table rules. So that would be pretty good, pretty good. Rune Crossbow. I have to Rune Crossbow on B tier because I can make one in two chunks. So it's not that great. And I don't have that like a lot of bolts, I guess. So it's it's good, but not like as good as like the Krems account, for example. And then we have Bless the Hide Body and Legs. For more defense bonus and one prey bonus. We have this top. Which is basically mystic top. So that would mean I have almost full mystic. Be pretty nice. A blessing. I mean this is all prey bonus gear basically. Prey bonus is always good. And I don't really have like good boots for example. For melee right now. So would be pretty helpful. Same with cloak. My best cape is a purple cape right now. So a cloak would be pretty good. And then C tier are items that give me some bonuses. But... Not that much, like not relevant enough to put in the higher tiers. With the glory trimmed, I can mine uh, gem mines faster in the future, so that's somewhat useful. Uh, boots are plus one magic attack over mystic. The fan braces are, I think, prey bonus. Now we have some, we have holy wraps, which probably has some niche use in the future. This is like a few extra magic attack. Obby cape for defense bonus, and this is all prey bonus gear again, which is always nice to get. So the D tier are mostly clue items. Items that I can get that will help me with clue scrolls in the future. And the golden apron allows me to enter the crafting guild. Yeah, that's why it's D tier. It would be kind of funny if I can skip the brown apron requirement. The clue items. Bob shirt, I'm really close to the clue step re that requires the Bob shirt, so that would Basically, you lock a uh, elite clue step for me. Purple Suite, somewhat useful, but I just run out of them too quickly, so not super useful. And then we have a Fashion Scape tier. I can trim my Dragon Legs, trim my potential Future Fury, get some nice, like, Team Capes, uh, like Dehyde trimmed, Strength Emblem trimmed, and then Gilded Pickaxe and Axe, which are the same as Rune. I already have Rune, so that would be just a, you know, Fashion Scape upgrade. These items are pretty cool to get though. I, I wouldn't mind getting some of these. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much a tier list. So... Alright, good luck me. Here we go. Nice. 
First lock slot. Next one. Willow bow. Adamant full helm. That focus fire stuff. Alright. Rune play skirt. Who play lax. Alright. Ooh. That's a sweet. Not a lock slot. 11 purple sweets. Alright. A battle axe. Not looking not looking too good so far. Plate body. Eight trouts. Huge. Whoa! Woohoo! 41 purple sweets. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Wait, how many? I got like 30 right there. I think I got 30 purple sweets there. That's pretty decent. Okay, here we go. Runes. Two seed. Yikes. Pickaxe. Swordfish. Okay. Yo, that's sick. I have all tier pickaxes now until rune. That was the only one I didn't have. More log, more log slots. Uh, Luna teleports. Not that good, but all right. All right. Bronze full helm. We are clogging, guys. Holy. Okay, more runes and wow, a rune pickaxe. Dragon scimitar. Oh wow, a dragon uh di body. That would be that would have been good on a cram account. All right. Tooth key. Okay, we're getting some more like higher tier rules now. Wow, two hundred nature runes. All right. <laughs> One singular rune bar. Okay. <laughs> Bruh, what? Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Best control teleports and all the lock slots. Manta rays. All right. And green fire lighters. I already have these. Two room bars. Yeah, stuff. Oh, I mean, some interesting items here. Come on, give me, give me one of the items. What? What is that? Okay, we're getting like all the hard clue loot, I guess. Whoa, sixty limpers. All right, that's not bad. Hey, more purple sweets. We already have. Like 50 purple sweets. I did not expect to get that many. Okay. Yes! 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 That's the item I wanted. Yes! That is the item I wanted. That's the best item to get. That is a combat bracelet. Yo! Yes! That is great. Oh, that's actually great. Oh, that's so good, man. Wait, let's open this last one. A coif, sure. Look at this. Seven attack bonus for every skill, five defense bonus, and six strength bonus. That is really good. That's such a good item for this account. Wow, okay, I'm already really happy with that. Like, that's basically what I wanted. All right, let's continue. Um, elf camp teleports. All right, getting some easy clue items. Oh, what? <laughs> no way! Yo! Bandos boots! Oh, yo, that's so good! That's so freaking good! <laughs> yo, this is so good! That's actually a great item. I That was like my dream item on the Kremja account. Yo, that's actually a crazy item. Look at this. Seven range attack, four defense bonus, and a prey bonus. Dude, I always wanted that on the Kremja account. Holy shit, I'm so happy with that item. Okay, this is a really good opening, man. Yo. That's crazy. 
Chaos runes. Our runes. Right. Got a page as expected. And full helm and not a fire staff. Okay. Nice. Uh, Runex. Is that adamant? Yes. Air runes. Bang along. More purple sweets. We take that. Air runes. Okay. Ooh, 10k GP. Not bad. Alright, got another lock slot for easy clues this time. Got the Eddie Helm. More. It's, wow, we're actually getting a lot of purple sweets. Getting a lot of uh, purple sweets. Tooth key. Mother runes. Dagger. Bring along. Okay, another page. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. And more fire lighters. Okay, wait, which fire lighters are we missing? I think I have three different ones or four. Yeah, three different ones. We're missing blue and white. 68 purple sweets already. That's actually not bad, man. Okay, there we go. Continue. Death runes. Runex. Okay. My death runes. Right, Adamant play like Z. Helm. Runes. Plate. Runes. Ooh, okay. All right. How many runes? Dagger. I mean, we're getting lock slots, I suppose. Willow combo. That's the most useless lock slot ever, but... Alright. I need something good here, come on. What? What is his inventory? <laughs> what is his freaking inventory? This is so bad. 20 to go. 20 to go. Okay, good amount of natures. Wow, another black pickaxe. Okay. Okay. Coins. Coins, I guess? Oh, thanks. Haven't had planks yet. More sweets, of course. Ooh, vines. Okay. Tie one eye teleports. That's a lock slot. Dick side teleports. I think we're getting like all the teleports. Wow, that's that's like that's three lock slots in a shared section in, in a row. Let's see. Are we missing quite a few actually? Yeah, we're missing quite a few. 81 purple sweet, well. Last 10. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's four lock slots in a row. Jeez, okay. Sarah page two. Not runes. Okay, I mean, that's on the tier list. That is on the tier list. That's not bad. It's prey bonus. How many? Six prey bonus. That's actually... Yeah, that's good. That's better than my priest robes. That's a little bit of an upgrade. Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. 
Holy shit, we got a rook crossbow. Oh, that's so iconic, man. Oh, that's so iconic. Yo, another tier list item. That always feels so good to get. I, st that's, I still love seeing that drop on my lucky imp. Another collection lock slot. Okay, this inventory is actually popping off. So far. Okay, here we go. Dude, that's also on the tier list. What the heck is this inventory? Yo, the last 10 are... Give me all the items. Wow. I mean, that's not really that good, but that's nice. Okay, how much prey bonus does I give? I mean, that could be useful for something. Six prey bonus. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Still have four. Come on. Planks. Air runes. Dagger. And the last one. Four trouts. Okay. I mean, yo, we got a rune crossbow and, uh, and this and this. That was a that was a crazy opening. So if you look at the tier list, we got pretty much two items from the A tier, one item from the B tier, two items from the C tier, and like purple sweets. I mean that's honestly really good. So the total loot of these lock implings is 3.8 million minus around 80,000 GP for the impling jars, divided by 113 lucky implings, makes an average of a little bit less than 33,000 GP per impling, which is not a lot for the amount of effort it takes to collect these implings. However, the collection lock slots are pretty nice. I got almost 20 collection lock slots from opening a little over 100 lucky implings. So that's really nice. And you never know what you get. It took me around one month to collect all these implings. I used two alts in Pure Puro. And yeah, it was really fun to open these. I hope to do it again in the future. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe. And I'll see you soon with uh, more chunk rolls and new content. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>